Throughout the last 100 days, I've trained like One Punch Man, the fabled anime superhero who achieved godlike strength with one simple workout routine. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10 kilometer or 6.2 mile run every single day. During my first 30 days of training, I decided to take zero days off and completed Saitama or One Punch Man's workout routine seven days a week, every day for 30 days. While my consistent was admirable. The fact that I worked out seven days a week didn't allow my body enough time to regrow the muscles I had teared down during my workouts, and my month long of training resulted in very little visible results. The only thing to show for my 30 days of grinding was my newly massive calves. Not bad if I do say so. During the next 30 days of training, I decided to work out five days a week while taking two days off to allow my muscles to regrow stronger, while I also massively reduced the amount of mileage I ran from 6.2 miles to 4 miles daily. Upon doing this though, the greatest complaint I received was that I was basically a little bitch boy for not running the full 6.2 miles, and that I was not worthy of continuing One Punch Man's workout routine. So from day 60 to day 100, I decided to up the ante. I would start my workout routine at 3.1 miles, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and 100 squats. But each day I worked out, I would increase the amount I ran by one tenth of a mile, and after after each week of working out, I would have to do 10 more push-ups, 10 more squats, and 10 more sit-ups every single day I worked out. This, in theory, was the perfect workout routine and a beautiful fusion of my failures in day 30 and day 60. And to be honest, the results were pretty insane. Just watch. Alrighty folks, today is day 64 of training like one punch man. So I'll see you at day 100. For now, it's time to work out. And right from the get-go, I placed a heavy emphasis on executing proper 100% correct form for the most part to the utmost extent of my ability and I made incredible progress since day 30. Just look at my push up at day 30 compared to what it is now. No rest for the wicked folks. As you can see it's kind of hot out here. Day 65 the grind continues and a pro tip that I apparently learned for all of you people out there trying to improve your push-up form is that I set this massive vertical mirror beside me while I did push-ups so I could look at at myself while I did push-ups and correct my form mid push-up if I was doing it incorrectly if I was arching my back poking my butt outwards and whatnot I could just fix it in real time which was super helpful and I think it could help you too day 66 got some new baller running shorts 15 bucks TJ Maxx what a steal now hopefully my balls won't be chafing anymore on the run but a guy can only hope they're feeling a little tighter actually so this might be even worse all right gang day 67 let's see how much I Way. Okay, 167.3, I like that. Day 67, today I'll be running 3.7 miles. The goal is for each day to increase my mileage by one tenth of a mile. Day 68, it's 5.30 a.m. out here with my longtime chum, Nicholas. Anything to say about the One Punch Man workout? No, let's get this grind, bro. That's what I like to hear. 3.8 miles to go, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 sit-ups. In the sand. We're getting him acquainted with hell in the sand. As one might have expected, the sand is much more difficult to deal with than the sidewalk, concrete, etc. This is exerting at least five to ten times more effort than the classic walk in the concrete. No task for a fool. Day 71, 3.9 miles to go, 29 more days to go, and I'm done. Done for good. Day 72, four miles, halfway done. I just did my Navy SEAL video. I failed five out of the seven challenges. Extremely difficult. I'm dead. I just did my one punch man workout. 100 push ups killed me. Day 73, four. 4.1 miles, here I come. Day 74, 4.2 miles to go. Day 75, preemptive gain check. <laughs> No, I'm just being melodramatic. Anyways, though, observe alleged gains. If I flex, there's definitely some abs that are really wanting to make their presence known, but there's a layer of fat right here. If I do a little, like, you can see the skin present itself. The muscles, I would argue, are there. You know, we may even have a budding eight pack. Just a matter of eradicating the existing fat, I believe. The arms are, they're getting somewhere, I think. Pecs are becoming slightly more defined. If I reduce my food portions and just lose a few more 
pounds, these abs should really showcase their true strength to the entire world. Diet is probably the biggest factor in looking like an aesthetic god, if that's your goal. From all that I've read and seen on the internet, my goal is to lose weight. I need to introduce some form of caloric deficit. And if I can't do that, I won't lose weight. It's pretty simple. But I can still build some muscle underneath the fat, which is cool. 25 more days to go and I'm done. Day 75, 4.3 miles to go. Today is day 78 of training like one punch man. So today I'll be doing 110 push-ups, 110 squats, and 110 sit-ups plus my run. So I'm progressively increasing the rigor of this workout and it's becoming increasingly more difficult. Hopefully this will result in some more massive gains, but a man can only dream. And surprisingly, the slight incremental increase of only 10 to each workout I was doing was definitely enough to push me to my limits and exceed my current capacity, making my muscles tear apart and eventually regrow stronger. So increasing the reps was super helpful actually. Day 79, I'll be running a humble 4.5 miles. For what reason you might be asking? For the sake of posting a YouTube video about it on the internet. Despite this lack of foundational reasoning for this absurd video, this workout's really starting to get on my nerves, I'm not gonna lie. I dread waking up to doing these push-ups, sit-ups, and squats, but the run is relaxing, I'll give it that much. Anyways, wish me luck. Day 80, while you're sitting on your toilet watching this video, doing sit-ups. 4.6 miles to go. Alrighty folks, officially 80 days of training like One Punch Man. Here's a full frame of the physique. <laughs> You suck. As you can see, while I'm flexing here, the abs are coming in eventually. I think I may have abs one day if I keep at it. As you can see, the muscle's definitely there. It's just a matter of this very slim layer of fat. I think I actually can get rid of, to be honest. The pectorals, they're somewhat more symmetrical than they were. Back when I used to go to the gym, I must have messed up my pec muscles by lifting harder on my left hand than my right because they look goofed up, man. They look like a giant smacked it with a hammer or something, dude. The arms and triceps are looking pretty juicy not bad not gonna lie i'm tired of running in like 100 degree weather outside it's really hot in california over here in the central valley and one more thing we cannot forget calves are looking pretty solid i'm not gonna lie they just keep getting bigger and an update on the diet my diet's not too horrible i have gone to pan express a few times to get their grilled teriyaki chicken and i've also gone to el pollo loco i've gotten their charbroiled chicken and it's basically just chicken that hasn't been fried whatsoever it's been charbroiled. Yes, there's oils in that chicken, but it's not fried. And the chicken's pretty lean and clean white meat. I don't know how much better it gets than that. And I've been making a lot of over easy eggs that I just eat. Starting to get that fit man physique one of these days though. Very close. Day 81, 4.7 miles to run. This is the 4th of July. Day 82, 4.9 miles to go. And to be honest, this sucks. Day 85, five miles to run. I've also increased the push-ups, sit-ups, squats by 10, so this should be quite the challenge. Day 86, 120 push-ups. 87 days in, 5.1 miles to run. Day 88, my shins are killing me. I look like Casper the Ghost right now. I'm covered in all this SPF 50 sunscreen, but today is day 90. I'm gonna be completely honest. I kind of dread waking up because I know I have to do this at some point in the day. It's like that nagging feeling you have that a massive weight on your shoulders my legs are really starting to kind of take a toll just feeling brittle my knees shins and heels whenever i take a step i feel a mild pain i don't know my point is maybe too many miles too quickly it's difficult to stay motivated throughout all this quite frankly because i'm not seeing a ton of results it just gets old it's very monotonous this is like Karl marx's theory on why economic specialization as in people getting really good at one thing and doing it over and over and over again until it's completely monotonous and just absolutely bores them to death literally this all relates to me doing the same exercise over and over and over again without any change to put it best uh, i'm really just mentally and physically fatigued of working out like one punch man wish me luck on my run 5.3 miles to go all righty folks day 90 weigh-in how much do i weigh come on less fat less fat less fat oh, yes. oh. i weighed 167 like a week and a half ago making progress i think light flex right here you'll see that there's definitely muscle developing there's almost a six pack going on here but the crumbly upper half right here the pecs right here are somewhat more symmetrical far more symmetrical than when i started and there's definitely muscle developing in the body here but on the contrary i still have 
a little bit of chubby, loose skin muffin top going on here, and that is truly the issue at hand. The arms, they're significantly more defined than they once were. Uh, definitely a lot more defined than they were day one, that's for certain. One thing I will say that's somewhat worth bragging about, the calves. Now, to be honest, they're somewhat sculpted right now by the grace of God. Now, to be completely honest, every week raising the intensity of the workout has taken a little bit of a toll on me. It reminds me of the first 30 days where I absolutely killed my body, I felt like, running 6.2 miles every day, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 sit-ups. Hopefully, I don't tear an ACL, get shin splints, all that bad stuff. I'm hoping for a miracle. Day 92, 5.4 miles to run. Just knocked out 140 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. That took quite a while, actually, surprisingly enough. I'm at a solid 9 minute 40 pace. Day 93, 5.5 mile midnight run. Today is day 94, and thank Jesus Christ, Love Island is on tonight. No sponsorship, of course, just pure pleasure on my end. Doing some push-ups, doing some sit-ups while I watch the human nature unfold. Truly an honor to exist in this day and age. It is currently one in the morning. Day 94, 5.6 miles to run. Not gonna lie, four miles in. I'm winded right now. My stamina is highly questionable. Pray for me. Okay, today's day 95, and I just played basketball for three hours straight, and I was supposed to do my one punch man workout afterwards, and it's a Thursday today, so I usually do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, break Saturday and Sunday, but I have this fat blister on my foot right now from playing basketball. I thought I tore a hole in my sock, but it was just my skin rolling on itself over and over again. So I'm just gonna take today and tomorrow off and then resume my workout Saturday and Sunday. So my two break days are today and tomorrow. Day 97, 5.7 miles to go. Day 98, so close to completion. 5.8 miles to run. Day 99, I'm on that Love Island grind as we speak. This has gotta be one of the goofiest shows I've ever seen in my life. Day 99, six miles to run. And after a hard day's toil, you owe it to yourself to wash down the hustle and bustle of life with a protein shake. Cheers. Day 162 miles to go, baby. Finally, 6.2 miles in, I finally finished the challenge. I feel like an eagle ready to take flight now that the weight, now that the burden of this workout has been taken off my shoulders. Possibilities for the future is endless and I've achieved freedom at last. 100 day gain check. Ab muscle has developed, it exists. I think I could totally be wrong. Arms and biceps definitely developed throughout this 100 day period, but it's nothing insane. Pecs, I think I may have honestly lost some muscle mass by doing all this cardio. Uh, slightly more defined, still look a bit asymmetrical as in not even looking. But hell, if anything, this was an impressive exercise in mental and physical discipline. And for that, I do respect myself, but I think I could have progressed far more given different workout alternatives. And with that being said, said to celebrate the end of 100 days of training like one punch man i think i'm gonna treat myself to i'm feeling panda express deuces i'm out of here